Hi everybody, it's Rosemary Morris from Morris Heart. I thought I'd do a quick little video on how I've made these pretty little um, pins. I saw um, Mrs. Cog doing a, um, a tutorial on how she was using them and I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. So these are actually coilless. See, they haven't got a coil at this end of safety pin. Sorry about my nail. I've been crafting as usual. <laughs> so that when you undo them, um, they, there's nothing stopping getting beads around this side. So what I've done with this one, I've just pinned it onto a piece of handmade paper. And it's got these little, pretty little beads on it. Um, and then I'll stick this into the book. Or you can put them onto braid like this. And then I'd put that in the book. Or you can put them on the little tabs on the side of the, um, the page if you've got those. I'll just put the other light on. Bit of a dull day today here. Um, and then this one here, I've added a little, I wanted this one to look a bit more sort of rustic. And I've added a little thing on the, if I can get it in focus, on the bottom of it, a little dangle charm. So you can't put anything up this side of it, because obviously when you open it up, I'm going to do that, uh, that's what goes into whatever you're pinning it to. I thought that what you could do as well, which I'm going to do later on, is you could put it into your book that way and then you can hang several of these along in between the beads. Um, so you could have a little row of them. So this is, this is what you do. I'll just put those on it, but I'll, I'll show you what you do. First of all, what you have to do is straighten the pin out right. um, because it's okay if you're putting these tiny beads on just a row of these tiny beads they'll go around the corner but the bigger ones won't go around the corner now just here where it bends it's actually got some sort of reinforcing on it and things tend to stick on it it feels like it's a glue or something so that when they when they put them in the machine to coil them, it needs strengthening there. It looks a bit wonky at the moment, but when you put it back together, that disappears. So I'll just sit down and hope that I stay in. Yes, I'm in the thing. So what I've done is I've chosen a few of these little tiny beads, and I found that in the packet that I had. Um, some are, are long and some are round. So what I'm going to do first of all is put one of the longer ones on here, if I can see it. And then I've got a little bead cap that I'm going to put on next. You can put anything on you like. Then I've got a clear bead that goes on next. And then one of the little round ones actually put two on the on in the middle there just to separate it a bit um you can measure it up which i did with the other ones i measured them all to see if um is that the right one let me just take those off again try this because one's a bit a bit longer than the other you know, little fussy me, they've got to look right. <laughs> there you go. Oops, get on me. That's better. They more or less match. And then this one. And then that one. And last of all, the little, that little one that goes on the end. And then all you do is you bend it back to where it was before. And you can see it's gone back really nicely. Just, oh, I'm out of, <laughs> hope it wasn't out of focus for all of her. And, um, and then I just 
push it in a little bit like so and I did have uh, let me see where I put it yes I had to put this white paper there so that um, you could see what I was doing because I'm in the middle of of um, video videoing a um, a book which I do on that dark cover so there you can see I've put a little fan on the end of it on a little thing made out of well that's a link off a bracelet so if you haven't if you haven't got the tools to actually do this with then what you can do is just take apart an old earring and pop that on the end of it so there they are very pretty little things that you can whip up in next to no time uh, I got the pins on Amazon but it was Amazon Australia so I presume they have them in America as well and they're just called coilless safety pins probably got the packet somewhere that I could show you mm, no anyway just type in coilless safety pins and they'll come up bye